Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Romans chapter 12 verse 6, Hebrews chapter 7 verse 9, and Acts chapter 11 verse 12. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for another day. Thank you for just the joys that you bring to us, the small things and the great things. We say thank you in Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Romans chapter 12, verse six, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them if prophecy in proportion to our faith. All right. And so this is just talking about submitting ourselves, right? Number one, to our gift that God has given us, submitting ourselves to Holy Spirit, of course, um, as it relates to our gift. Um, and, and we need to make sure that we do it in accordance with the proportion of faith that we have. So we're each given a measure of faith. Each of us has um, measures, right? It, it, it could be a, a, a large massive amount of faith that's meant to win millions of souls, right? Or it could be just a, a person who comes across people as a customer service representative, right? And you're just anointed in that area, right? We need to submit ourselves to God as it relates to the gift that he has given us and do it in accordance with the measure of faith that God has blessed us with. Amen. It says having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Let us use them. If prophecy in proportion to our faith. So you can operate in prophecy as a person, just a lay person who um, has dreams, right? And who has vision. Or you can be a person who's like, you know, the person who stands on the stage and points people out and can call names and do all kinds of things. Or a person who's on television and who, um, you know, does those kind of like yearly, this is what's coming this year. You could have so many different types of operations and prophecy, but we should not be doing it as according to someone else, right? We should be doing it in accordance with our proportion of faith, right? God has given each and every one of us a proportion of faith, um, a measure of faith, and we need to operate in our gifts in accordance with that measure of faith, amen? So um, the second um, verse that the Lord gave me um, was Hebrews chapter seven, verse nine. One might even say that Levi himself who received tithes paid tithes through Abraham. All right. And so this is a faith concept, right? To, to think of one man as being greater, another man um, submitting himself to the greater man and then thinking by faith about the fact that the men that were in the loins of that man who submitted himself to the greater man are are doing and submitting um, also to that greater man, right? So it's not just the man who's submitting, it's everyone that is within the man who is submitting, right? Um, and so uh, that is a faith concept to have understanding that, hey, you know, Abraham was tithing to Melchizedek, right? Who was the greater. And, and he, those that were in his loins, the Levites, we're also submitting themselves and paying tithes to him. So we are all to submit, right? We need to submit to the Lord. We need to submit to the things of God, right? We need to submit as it relates to our gifts and callings. And we need to um, operate in them by faith, right? According to the measure of faith that we have. All right. And so the third verse that the Lord gave me was Acts chapter 11, verse 12. And the spirit told me to go with them, making no distinction. These six brothers also accompanied me and we entered the man's house. 
All right. And this is talking about submitting, right? So here, um, Peter was um, having a vision about the unclean and the clean, how God had made the animals clean so that, you know, they could go and minister the gospel into, you know, Gentile homes. And so um, here, um, Peter had had a vision, right? And, and this is all within accordance to his faith and, you know, all the things that he had done for the Lord and, and, and what he believed, right? His faith. Um, and, and he submitted himself to God, um, through this vision after having this vision, right? This was something he would not have ever come up with on his own, because this was talking about eating in the homes of Gentiles, unclean in their eyes, um, eating, eating their food with them and calling things that had once been told to him, um, were unclean, were now clean. And so, um, it says, and the spirit told me to go with them, making no distinction. So he submitted himself to the men who came to his house. And then it says, these six brothers also accompanied me and we entered the man's house. So um, here that man um, who they're speaking of, um, they are... Um, the, the people who were sent, um, no, the man that they're speaking of is Cornelius, but the men who came to the house were um, those who were sent by God, right? Um, and, and they accompanied him to Cornelius's house. So they submitted to God. Um, Peter submitted to God and Cornelius submitted to God and each within uh, accordance to his faith, right? Because then Cornelius was able to receive, right? According to his faith and those who were in his household and the spirit fell on them. And then also, you know, um, Peter, as it relates to his faith, right? Because he had to have faith that, you know, this, that God was doing something new. This was totally against everything that he had known, but he submitted himself to it. And he went to Cornelius's house and he communed with them, right? And, and he called what was God had made clean, clean, right? And the spirit fell on the people there. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for submission and faith, Lord God, submission and faith. We believe in you. We believe what you said. We believe you are the son of God and that you died for all of our sins, Lord Jesus. We believe you and we submit ourselves to you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right. If there is anybody out there who would like to rededicate your heart to the Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. You see where I've gotten them track. You see the goodness that you poured out over us and me and how I still got off track. Lord God, Forgive me for falling away, Lord Jesus. Help me to come back to you. Help me to submit myself to you. Help me to have faith in you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, Believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray those prayers and you believe those prayers, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's going to do just that. Amen. 
um, one of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Amen. Um, also, go out and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. All right, you guys, take care and be blessed.